Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. It is currently the 13th part for my Let's Play, and it is the 5th of March 2020 as I'm recording this. It may be the 5th of March as I'm recording this, but I don't think you will be seeing this until much later on in March, because it is my intention to keep this recording and a number of other recordings for later uploading. Because while I can record stuff now, I want to create a bit of a pool of stuff that I can actually upload while I'm overseas in late March going through most of the month of April. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan and in other words you're probably going to be seeing this later on. So just to give you a recap on what we did in the previous part, we did kill the boss of the Nation of Fools, which is our current location. We still have quite a little bit of the Nation of Fools to actually discover if you look at the map at the top. But if you do remember when we took on the boss whose name is Legion in the previous video, we did pick up a cog. And if you do recall, there is one point of progression for us in the lower area of the Tower of Death, which does require a cog. So we are definitely going to put that into the Tower of Death location, or rather put that into the appropriate place in the room in the Tower of Death. But first and foremost, I would like to completely explore the Nation of Fools, and I'm going to do that by, I guess, going to the north first and then continuing east from there, rather than immediately going east from my current position, because then I think I would have to go north and then I'd have to backtrack south and then continue south from there, and that just sounds messy to me. So I think the most smooth and easy way to go about doing this would be going north first from here. But anyway, it is raining quite a little bit outside, and I am very much enjoying that. But unfortunately, I can't keep my windows open, because then there would be some background noise. I mean, it's all well and good for the weather to be poor outside for myself, but I don't think you guys would appreciate having to hear it in the microphone, so I am trying to have it be so that you can't hear that. Anyway, we pretty much don't have anything else to do in the Nation of Fools except to explore the rest of it. So, actually, don't expect this video to be too eventful, because I'm thinking that uh, there really isn't much more to be done. I was not expecting that. But, don't worry, Mr. Slime, I can kill you nice and quickly. Is that a piece of a nun set? I don't know how to get in there, I can't really... See, I can't do this to get in there. Okay, whatever. No, we actually have a nun's habit anyway, that's definitely not a piece of the nun set now that I think about it. What we're missing are the shoes, because there is a quest that, uh, what, what's his name again? Um, I keep calling him Wind, but we've actually discovered what his real name is, and I've gone and forgotten it now. It's um, Eric Lacard, that's what it is. So Eric gave us a quest which requires Charlotte to wear three pieces of the nun set, and when we talk to him at that point, he'll, I don't know, give us something, I'm not sure. Quest successful, number of fortune. Are you fucking kidding me? I managed to get three sevens in my amount of gold. Just as I was talking about quests from Eric as well, that's kind of crazy. But anyway, I guess we'll go here, or maybe we'll go down first. I really don't know what to do. Oh, there isn't much to do down there, so I guess we'll just go over this way. Do excuse the occasional mishap in terms of game performance. I don't know, I really should restart my computer, but I'm not doing that because I'm too lazy. You know, generally when my computer is on for so long, it there are a lot of applications open and I really couldn't be bothered doing a restart, but maybe I should do a restart for the next recording because we don't want poor performance in our recordings now, do we? And indeed, when I keep my PC on for an extended period of time, the performance of the PC in general is greatly compromised. Even for games like Portrait of Ruin on a DS emulator, apparently. Oh god, it's a white dragon. So that is really dangerous. Especially considering that that's just an MP up, it's not even an HP up, so really this is quite uh, frustrating to have to sacrifice so much of my health. Oh, that's a high tonic, it's even worse than that. Oh my god, I thought it was an MP up but it's not, or max up, I should say, more specifically. But, uh, yeah, that was really quite bad. I just sacrificed a lot of health for a frickin', whatever that's called, high tonic, yeah. Really bad. Getting hit by that stupid, uh, spittle bone, as it's called. Not that I remember the name, I had to read it, of course. I do find it very helpful that I have that ability to see the names of the enemies that I kill. 
or not necessarily the enemies that I kill, but the enemies that I do make contact with my weapon. So... I think that's it for this room. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh dear, it's poor timing on my part. Well, let's try and get to our next, I don't know, warp point, save point, whatever, without needing to heal again, because this is not looking great at the moment. All right, we'll go down. Looking for a save point at this point. Let's say point a few more times. Got some money and it's $2,000. Even though the unit is gold, actually. Or the money itself is gold. I don't really get it. But uh, either way. There we go. We got tonic. Oof, I knew that was going to hit me and I made a really poor decision there. I'm playing quite badly at the moment. You'll have to forgive me. But anyway. I don't know if I want to go this way. I think I want to continue through the fire at great risk to my health, actually. So, it may be a great risk, but we just need to counteract that by playing properly. That's pretty much the solution. And I'm only doing this to join the areas together. That's literally the only reason. Which is a pretty poor reason to be almost dead, but... Yeah, I'm actually out of healing wares, unless I eat some pumpkin pie. There you go. I'm not eating rotten durian. I'm sorry, but that is not going to give me increased health. It cannot possibly. A hamburger, there you go. Just have a munch, Jonathan. Okay, now, we have successfully connected these areas. Let's go back and take a little bit more damage, shall we? I don't have much faith in myself, do I? It's not that I don't have much faith in myself, actually. It's more that I'm a realist. But any oh god, you fucking... There's something about them coming from below you that's a lot harder to deal with than when they're coming from side to side. I'd like to think that's fairly obvious why it's more difficult, but anyway. Oh my god. It's an MP max up annoyingly. That's not what I want right now, but maybe there's an HP max up somewhere close by. I can only hope, right? The most annoying thing is that this is now a dead end, so I have to go all the way back up. Possibly risking getting hit. Well, not possibly risking. I am risking getting hit. The possibility side of things is me getting hit in general. Okay. Can I still hit you? Oh, my God. You know, this whip is really crazy. I mentioned it in the previous recording, but this is going to really affect my play in the future when I choose to equip a different weapon. So... Maybe it's best if I equip something else sooner rather than later so that I'm not completely unable to play the game because of how much this weapon is holding my hand. Oh, thank God, you are a lifesaver. I was completely spouting bullshit when I said that because there was an MP max up, maybe there's an HP max up nearby, but it ended up being the truth, so I'm glad. I mean, maybe I could have played that off and said, oh, I knew that was going to happen. But to be honest, I... Well, yes, to be honest, literally, I am too honest, so I wouldn't say something like that. Not that I don't think I can convince you guys, but yeah, no. Okay, that's it for this area. Pretty uneventful. Literally nothing in here except, I think, one of those spittle bones. And we'll continue down here. There is a save point. Strange uh, location to have a save point when we just got an HP max up, but whatever, I guess we'll save here. I will uh, save the game indeed. And I'm probably not going to do what I did in the last video, where I chose not to save for a really long time, because that was really dangerous. I didn't realise it while I was recording, but when I watched it back, I was like, my god, if you die at any of these points, and I was really close at one time, because I had lost a lot of health, and didn't even notice it. I thought I was just being really confident, but actually I almost died, didn't even notice it. And had I died at that time, I would have been sent back really far because I hadn't saved for a while. So, yeah, we're going to try and play it a little bit smarter now. I thought I was playing smart back then, but no, that was not smart because I almost had a serious problem. It wouldn't be a problem for you guys because I would just edit out all of the stuff that I had to do again, but that's still pretty terrible for me. So, yeah, not great. And maybe stuff that's terrible for me would also be terrible for you, because then you'd have to put up with my complaining. Or maybe you find that entertaining. There's a silk hat. 
May as well see what's going on with that. Silk hat. Hmm. No, I think we're going to keep what we have at the moment. Whatever that is. I think it's a bandana. Alright, we've got this uh, guy. He wants to play, but we're not going to let him. We're instead going to kill him with our whip. And I can assure you that that was entirely intentional for me to jump at that time to miss that devil wheel guy. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I do a very good job of convincing you of my intentions, don't I? Dancer's blouse. Well, let's see how that works. Uh, leather corset is what we have at the moment. Dancer's blouse is better in every way. So we will equip that for Charlotte. But unfortunately, we haven't really found the occasion to play with Charlotte too much. We could play with her now. And I do mean that with every single ill intention. But, um... <laughs> Regardless, hey, this is actually doing a decent amount of damage because this is, um, we've replaced Don Quixote with Tome of Arms too, so we're doing a little bit more damage. But it's still not amazing. You can see it requires three hits to actually kill these guys. But I don't mind the Tome of Arms too because it does have quite a range of effectiveness because you can hit both above you and below you pretty well. So yeah, I'm just playing as Charlotte to keep things interesting. Keep the spice going, you know. Alright. Got some more money, that's $2,000, I remember that. And now we need to continue up. I do like Charlotte's double jump with the witch broom, though. I think it's pretty cool. There we go. So those slimes do have a lot of defense, but they don't have much health as a result, so... Another save point? God, that's crazy. Okay, I'll take it. Well, I did actually mean to save, yes. Alright, so we're back at this save point because I died really stupidly. We'll just pretend that that didn't happen. Well, the best way to pretend that that didn't happen is by not mentioning it, actually, but I guess I'm not smart enough to do that. This room up here is really terrible. And we're going to try and be smart with this. Fuck. If you get the angle wrong, it's a sad time. Oh no, I missed it! See, I got the angle wrong, so I missed my opportunity to jump there. Fuck you. I really do hate this. See, you get stuck on the fucking wall when you're trying to jump upwards. This is the worst frickin' room ever. This is actually ridiculous, and I'm not even doing it to achieve anything, if you can fucking believe that. The only reason why I'm doing this is so that I can connect the map. And that doesn't fucking achieve anything. I'm almost positive that I can get up there. I just need to... Jesus. I just need to Jesus. That's all I need. That's all a lot of us need to do, actually. Fucking hell, I made it, finally. How am I supposed to get up here? Okay, we made that. Oh my god, we did it, guys. That was really, really hard, I have to tell you. Like, I was clenching the whole time. Okay, what's over here? We haven't been in this direction yet. What is this? It's past a carbonara. Well, I do enjoy a bit of carbonara. And if we go in this direction, we've got spaghetti. Who was the Italian guy who decided to make these dishes and leave them in this particular location, the Nation of Fools? That's what I want to know. Maybe a fool who's part of the nation. But anyway, that was a hilarious joke, Doom Link. Moving on, what we're probably going to do is just stop the recording once we do get to, um, whatever it's called, the Tower of Death location. Because I'm actually getting the feeling that that's going to be appropriate in terms of the timing of the recording. So, oh my god, what is this thing? God, I don't need this killing me. Imagine if I got all this way, finally got through that stupid uh, room with the... I don't even know what to call them, the, the pendulum swinging hammers, yeah. Only to die here. That would be really frustrating. But anyway, this is the, the last stuff, or the last section of the map that I need to explore. Again, playing a Charlotte just for fun. I'll switch to Jonathan again soon. But yeah, if you have a look at the map, that should be everything explored. The Nation of Fools, a rather strange location where things are upside down and back to front and all of that. But here we are back in Dracula's Castle, and of course what we will do is go to the save point just up here. Actually, what we'll do instead, actually let's just do that because I, I don't trust myself. We're going to save to ensure that we do not die or anything like that and lose our progress. I'm going to continue uh, 
using Charlotte here. Now, of course, Charlotte and Jonathan are of the same level. It's not like we need to level them up separately. So that's something that's worth mentioning. We're going to head to the entrance to talk to Eric Lacan to actually turn in that quest that we completed, which was the money quest. I've got no idea what we're going to get as a result of that, or rather what we will get from completing that quest, but we'll see. What will it be today? Have I completed all of these? No, I haven't. So it was automatically completed, basically, that money quest, and I've got no idea what they gave me for it. Or well, they, I say, more like Eric. Art of the Zephyr. Or is it Zephyr? Zephyr? I don't know. I've actually never heard that word said out loud, so I don't know how to say it. Maybe it's Zephyr. Zephyr? I don't know. Jonathan, perform the spinning art in front of me three times in a row. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I can't even do it once, much less three times in a row. This is insanity. How, how does it... Hold on. Do I have uh, relics or... How about guides? Skills? No. Combos? I... Seriously, I don't remember how to do it. I think it's, uh... You go in a circle and then you... I don't remember how to do it. If I remembered how to do it, I would give it a try, but I just don't remember. Anyway. So what we're gonna do is head to that place in the Tower of Death that I mentioned, and it's actually just here. It's not too far away at all. And then once we find our first save point going in this new direction, we will go ahead and end the video, if you do not mind. Imagine if after having said that, we continue for like another 20 minutes. No, we won't. Oh, here we go. You know, that cog we found earlier will probably fit here, you think? Cog is inserted. Excellent. We can get through now. Let's go. That was a cute little scene of sorts. Oh god. Are you ready? Actually, have you been... Okay, you're already standing there, that's fine. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not how you ride motorcycles. Shit, I pressed the wrong button. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, that, that motorcycle just burnt out. Hardcore. Okay, so <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I was supposed to press um, whatever you call it. Y to switch. And I instead pressed the wrong thing. So anyway, try that again. What we need to do is switch back and forth between Jonathan and Charlotte to avoid... Oh, that was an automatic fucking... What's going on? So I'm telling you, they automatically ducked for the first two obstacles. And then after that, they're like, no, you're not going to duck. That's really weird that they would do that because all that did was confuse me. It made me think that I didn't need to manually do it. Ugh, whatever. Let's try this again. Get on the bike. No, I pressed the wrong button again. Shit. Why am I doing that? This is really bad. Yeah, this, this might actually end up having the video drag on quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, so we need to press the right button this time. Wait, Jonathan, what are you doing? Hopefully it's not necessary to do this. Yeah, look at this. We need Fuck me! Now I have to go all the way back, unless I can... I'm so annoyed right now, I really am. So we have to go all the way back to the other fucking side. And I'm guessing we need to be on the bikes. And I don't know why Jonathan just walked off the fucking bike. For no reason. Anyway, I'm guessing we need to stay on the bike so that they smash through the wall, etc, etc. But I don't know why Jonathan just decided to walk off the bike, it makes no sense. Unless I need to do the down thing. No, that doesn't work. Jonathan! <sighs> Doesn't matter. There's something about this, like, it may look quite simple, guys. But it's fucking not, okay? It's fucking not. Maybe we're on the wrong bikes. I think we just go back and forth like this. Oh, fucking shit! I don't think we're on the wrong bikes. I think I just need to use my brain. I just need to engage myself. This is actually a terrible situation because I can't get my head around this. As long as it stays like a back and forth scenario where 
we do something with Charlotte, then we do something with, something with Jonathan, and it just continues in that way. If they throw me for a loop and make me do something twice with one character, I'm going to get really freaking confused. How did you... <coughs> Why are you not able to just... <sighs> I don't understand. Let's just try it again. That's all we can do, guys. That's all we can do at this point. This is a terrible part of the game that I had completely forgotten about, I'm going to be honest with you. Alright, here we go. I know what we need to do. We need to put Charlotte right on the front of the bike. Then she should have... There we go. That's all we needed to do! It's not even complicated, Doomling, for God's sake. Alright, here's a devil or an imp, whatever we call them. I think the red ones are devils, the blue ones are imps. God knows why they get different names for their colour, but whatever. What's in here? A direction to go in that actually links up to that tower before. You can sort of see it on the map anyway. Because that tower from before is obviously not sufficiently descriptive. Halberd, we'll see what sort of damage that's doing. Halberd, there it is. 34... Yeah, we'll equip that. We can't use the Nebula Whip forever, can we? I mean, it's a pretty cool whip, but I don't want to use it that much. Alright. So, continuing up through here. Hayes will keep uh, collecting the money. That's $100 in a single coin. Can you believe that? Imagine how um, serious you'd be whenever you were walking around with that coin in your pocket. You'd, you'd be eyeing everyone. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, that's a save point. We are, by the way, going up to the top of the Tower of Death. And we should have pretty much immediate access to the Death boss fight. So, it may very well be the case that we'll be taking on Death in the next video. But we might not as well. Because I'm thinking that we could try to explore the entirety of the Tower of Death. Because if you go down... Well, if you take your eyes and scan down that tower where we're just going up. There is a direction to the right, and that takes us into the Tower of Death location, like the bulk of it. And so I'm thinking if we go through that as far as we can, for the sake of getting experience to level up, we will at that point be in a better position to take on Death the boss. Because my memory of Death is that he's kind of difficult to deal with. So the higher our level, the better. So I'm thinking we might do that. If that doesn't actually continue very far into the Tower of Death, then we'll probably be fighting Death anyway in the next video. You guys will find out as soon as you see the next video uploaded because it will be in the title of the video. But anyway, I'll see you guys when I'm next recording. It is once again part 13 for my Let's Play, and I'll see you guys in part 14. Bye-bye.